Welcome to the Canvas overview video for cybersecurity. This is the cybersecurity homepage on Canvas. Uh, it looks very similar to all of your other courses, um, but this one says cybersecurity and has my name here. You can click right here to send me an email. It also has my phone number here. This goes right to voicemail, uh, but if you do leave me a voicemail, I will receive an email with the voicemail in the email. So that works just fine. Um, it has the same eight buttons with which you're familiar from your other courses. Calendar goes to your Canvas calendar. The other five go to resources outside of our Canvas course. Uh, so the two that we will focus on will be the daily agenda button and the course materials button. So let's start with the daily agenda. So if I click on the daily agenda, uh, it will take us to a Canvas page um, for the current unit. Um, technically for at least the current topic in the current unit. Um, as we'll see later, units are divided into different sections. So the first section of the first unit in cybersecurity is an introduction to cybersecurity. And on this page are our daily uh, targets, do now and homework slides. So you can see that there um, and always easily reference that for the current day. Um, below that is our to-do list for the day. And this will be organized with um, a list of items to do for each day of class um, throughout the uh, this entire section of the unit. Uh, below that will be links for various extension resources um, or links as appropriate for extra practice. Below that is a legend. Um, and I use different icons within the to-do list to give you um, a little bit of a context clue in terms of what type of a task that is. So when you see the magnifying glass, you know you're going to be reading or watching something. The globe means we're going to be working on something as a whole class. The conversation is a small group task. The person is an individual task. The pencil is a formative um, activity that you'd be doing on your own. And the checklist is a summative assessment that you would be doing on your own as well. Let's go back to the home page so that we can explore what happens when we click on the course materials link. The course materials links takes us to our Canvas modules. Specifically, it takes us to the introduction and resources module. The introduction and resources module has a variety of things in it, including direct links to our classroom Zoom, our Zoom expectations and tips, a different link for our office hour Zoom, um, some other resources. This goes to a page with all sorts of references, tutorials, and tools, the detailed syllabus, um, a link to the Project Lead the Way cybersecurity course, um, but let's take a deeper look at the Getting Started at a Glance page. Um, this is a great page to refer to at the beginning of the course um, because it really outlines what to expect. Um, under communication here, for example, I explain how I will communicate course updates. So the course updates will be done daily um, via that daily targets do now and homework slide, um, they'll also, which is embedded in the page that we were reviewing a moment ago. Um, I will also, in the to-do list on that page, um, enumerate the specific tasks for the day. Um, at times, I have other things I want to communicate, um, sometimes not necessarily related to this course, but other opportunities or things I want to share. Those irregular updates are posted as announcements in Canvas. You'll see them if you click on announcements in the sidebar. You'll also see them at the top of the home page. Um, during class, we do all of our activities via Zoom. Um, We'll review and I hope you can contribute to our Zoom expectations and tips. I will have a YouTube playlist for each unit um, and I will record um, kind of our whole class exercises and, and have that available there. If for some reason Zoom is down, this link will take you to my Google Meet. For after class communication, um, questions are best asked in the Google chat. Um, I or other students, and I encourage you to answer each other's questions, are probably most quickly to respond in the chat. Um, if the communication is somehow personal or private, it would be better done via email. Again, click here to send me an email. Um, we can have one-on-one -on -one meetings during office hours on the office hours Zoom. Um, I relish feedback. I love feedback. And I prefer you email it to me or we discuss it in person. Um, but if you are more comfortable providing it anonymously, I'd rather have it anonymously than not at all. This section goes through the expectations for the course, basically tells you to expect to access everything through various Canvas modules. We'll look at one in, in a moment. Um, explains how I've organized the Canvas course. 
Each module corresponds to a unit. Each module is further divided into sections. Think of a section as, as a major concept within that unit. Um, and then what you see in each section page, like the one we looked at a moment ago. <coughs> Excuse me. I will assign due dates to each assignment. That is useful for you because then they will show up in your Canvas calendar. Um, you may find your Canvas calendar and your Canvas dashboard to-do list really helpful as they are the only places where assignments from all of your classes are aggregated. And I have a couple of links here to, so you can learn more about how to access and customize your Canvas calendar and dashboard. Um, at the start of class each day, I expect you to join Zoom. I expect you to review the current sections page, specifically the daily targets due now and homework slide, as well as the day's to-do list. At the bottom here, I have some links for quick access to various resources. Let's take a look at one of the modules for our, our unit, specifically our first unit. Each unit that we have um, will have some unit resources at the top here, uh, another link to the daily targets and homework slides, and a link to the YouTube playlist for that unit. Um, then, as I mentioned, there are a variety of sections. This first unit of ours on ethics and society is broken down into an introduction to cybersecurity, then digital footprints, and then laws and ethics. Um, each section underneath it will have various assignments to be completed as part of that particular topic. Um, at the bottom of the module will be our summatives um, for that particular unit. I hope you have found this overview of your Canvas course to be useful. Um, please don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on how to make it better. Thanks so much.